Hello! Okay, this is uh, Paul Kemming here with my friend Fluffy. Hello! Hello, Fluffy. Hello! Say hello to the lovely ladies. Hello, lovely ladies. Uh, and the gentleman. And the gentleman. Uh, you're a crap ventriloquist. I know, I know, but uh, whatever. Okay, anyway, here I am in uh, lovely Palma, which is bloody well raining as we look out of the window. It's all gloomy and it's bloody well raining and I've got, still got my washing out. Anyway, um, um, get, look, we're not allowed to do that anymore. Fuck off. So anyway, um, right, uh, where am I looking? Where am I looking? There, look at that. Uh, okay, so anyway, I'm going to attempt to uh, demonstrate drawing. Um, I'm going to draw uh, one of my favourite character actors, Jack Elam. Do you know Jack Elam? Uh, he was in lots of westerns mainly, and he was also uh, in High Noon and lots of TV shows. Um, anyway, I'm going to try to draw Jack Elam. I'll show you his picture in a minute. Um, and I don't know how long it'll take. A few, uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. And then I will post it up on uh, Facebook uh, uh, and hopefully it will be of some use to you. Here in Palma, in Mallorca, we are all on lockdown from today. We're not allowed to go out unless we're going to the shop to buy food or to the bank to get some money. Um, if you seem wandering aimlessly about uh, as free as a breeze like a, a lonely daffodil, then the police will arrest you and fine you. So basically... Uh, we got to stay in. Um, anyway, so for all others in the same predicament, uh, hopefully this little demo will be entertaining or uh, informative. And um, when you're bored with Netflix and having sex with whoever, then um, have a bit, have a go at drawing. It's great fun and good for the soul. So anyway, let, without further ado, da, let's uh, start. Right, so before I begin uh, my Jack Elam picture, uh, here's a couple that I did uh, earlier, well, weeks ago, uh, of a couple of old uh, Hollywood people. Um, and that's, a, that's, that's a, a, a acrylic painting on canvas, a uh, very small one. So anyway, uh, Jack Elam, this is the fellow, as you can see, he's very distinctive looking. Um, he's got a strangely wonky eye, uh, which makes him very distinctive, but I, I really liked him for some reason as a character actor. So that's who I'm going to attempt to draw, and uh, you can follow along as I do it. Okay, let's go. Um, now, unfortunately, there was a slight technical glitch there where the memory ran out on my mobile um, and so it didn't record all the process of, of this pencil rough of Jack Elam. Um, so you'll just have to take uh, my word for it that uh, it was utter genius all, all, along, all along the way there. Um, but anyway, now we have the basic uh, rough drawing of Jack. Um, before I commence to uh, put the black line work on with this, my favourite Japanese brush pen. Okay, so it's it's very good. I must put this down and hope that it records this time. Ugh, modern technology. Anyway, so um, what was I doing? Yes, and in the bit that didn't record, I was uh, waxing lyrical about um, the situation here in Palma, which. Uh, Today we're on full lockdown. Yesterday was uh, semi-lockdown. There was a few shops open. Uh, now there's no shops open and no bars open and no restaurants open and basically bugger all open except for the odd supermarket and bank. Um, so, uh, but last night everybody came out on their balconies at eight o'clock and started clapping and cheering for the um, the uh, the health services and and how they're bearing the brunt of this coronavirus. Uh, and that was nice. Uh, the same thing happened in Italy, apparently, the night before at 10 o'clock. Everybody came out on their balconies, clapping and cheering, cars hooting their horns. Um, but they wanted to do it here earlier so that the kids could join in, which I think is rather nice. Um, and it gives a, a sense of, you know, community because we're all in the same boat. Um, people uh, in Spain and Italy uh, and other countries in Europe will know what I'm talking about, but it hasn't happened in England yet. 
So um, take advantage of your freedom while you can, say I. Um, apparently, uh, if you're found uh, wandering abroad uh, gaily, willy-nilly, uh, like a, a daffodil in the... Uh, in the Cotswolds, what am I talking about? I don't know. Um, you get arrested and fined. So uh, basically, unless you can, if you have, you have to have your identity on you, sort of passport or whatever. Um, and then if you can't prove that you had a definite purpose, like going shopping or going to the bank or, or a definite um, a destination, then uh, you could get arrested and find a lot of money. So it's quite serious, you know. You, uh, I mean, I ventured out this morning to see if I could get a coffee somewhere because I make lousy coffee. Um, and I do love a coffee first thing in the morning. And uh, luckily I found a supermarket that had a coffee machine. Um, so I got my coffee and there's a few people about. Um, but uh, it's raining now anyway, so I should think there's even less people about. So there'll be nobody on the beaches. Uh, the weather for the last two weeks has been great. Um, but it's turned shit for the next couple of days uh, before it turns nice again. Anyway, uh, the weather was some compensation for all this palaver, but um, now it's just uh, sort of rubbing it in. Thanks a lot. Anyway, so I'm just um, filling in or going over my uh, pencil lines with the Japanese brush pen. It's not my normal uh, uh, working method. I normally use a dip pen and a bottle of ink. Um, but because I want to colour this with watercolour, uh, I'm, I'm using this because my dip pen, the ink I use for my dip pen is, uh, is not waterproof, whereas this is, uh, so I can add watercolour over the top, if you see what I mean. Right, so I'll just do his wonky eye. Uh, you'd think that, uh, this would be, um, detrimental to his uh, Hollywood career, wouldn't you, having such an obviously wonky <laughs> eye? But uh, it gave him a massive character, so he got tons of character parts. Um, I don't think he was ever a leading man, but he did uh, film noirs, he did, um, he did a, my favourite episode of The Twilight Zone, called Will the Real Martian Please Stand Up, where he played a sort of drunken town lunatic. Um, he's brilliant, I love him. Anyway... Uh, if you're up there, Jack, watching this demonstration, uh, I hope you're enjoying it. So, that's quite... Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, uh, right, so I'll just do the, do the bottom bit, and then I'll do another pause and check that this is bloody well recording this time, before adding the color. Uh, I think I'll give him the um, sheriff's badge from this particular pick. So, let's have a look at it. So it's sort of like Deputy Sheriff, this kind of shape, with the, uh, the star here, something like that. Deputy Sheriff, I can never spell Sheriff, I think it's two Fs. Um, okay, right, another pause. So, all right, now I've rubbed out all those pencil lines and now I can add some color using these strange circular watercolor thingies that uh, if you live in Brighton, you can get from Clark Stationers in Bond Street. They're very good, good strong colors and uh, easily portable if you're going out drawing. Um, right, so I'm just gonna, now uh, my reference uh, shot is in black and white, so I'm gonna have to guess the colors. But that's okay, I've been working at this game for long enough to be able to do that, right? Um, but don't worry if you're new to drawing, because it's, uh, it, it's, it's all very easy, really. Right, now, uh, get some, get some colour on. Get some colour on, yeah. It's quite, uh... Yeah, the light's coming from his left. So, yeah. so now this side would be light, and this side dark. Okay. The shadow of his eye is quite dark. It's something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. When I, when I'm 
I'm all right when I'm drawing bizarrely, but when I'm colouring, I, I tend to have to concentrate a bit more, so I, I might shut up for a while. So just please talk amongst yourselves if you're watching this, or, um, you know, go about your normal uh, business. Um, make a cup of tea, or, I don't know, just uh, burst into song. Something like that. I don't care. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to try and speed through this. Basically, you can be as splotchy as you like with colour. Uh, as we're only doing this for fun, this is not a job. So you don't have to please anybody but yourself. Uh, which gives you a great deal of freedom. And it really, if, if you're doing this as a hobby, uh, or just for fun, then it really doesn't matter what the end product looks like. So um, it's more important to enjoy the process of doing it. Uh, uh, especially if you're on lockdown like I am and uh, you, know, you need a bit of fun. So there we go. Um, waffle, waffle, waffle. Uh, I, don't know, I presume his hair is dark brown. Let's uh, try that. Dark brown, I should think. Yeah. Is this useful? I don't know. It's just uh, what I do, really. But... Uh, I've I've always felt and believed, firmly believed, that anybody can draw. Um, people go, oh, I can't draw. And then I say, well, have you tried since you were a kid? No. Well, bloody well, try it then. You might surprise yourself. And people do. Um, once they get over that idea that it's got to look exactly like whatever it is that you're drawing, which it doesn't, um, then it frees them up a little bit. And uh, they think, oh, yeah, actually, I... I really enjoyed that, and um, maybe next time it'll it'll be better, and uh, everything gets better with practice, obviously. So um, basically, what I'm saying is that if you fancy a go, just have a go. That's all there is to it. Uh, and if you find yourself enjoying it and you want to do it again, great. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks of it, as long as you enjoy it. That's my philosophy here. Um, okay. I think we'll have a bit of green in there, shall we? A bit of, nice bit of green. Oh, look at that. Lovely bit of dirty green. Oh, I love a dirty green, don't you? Oh, yes. All right, hang on. So, um, getting there, getting there. Um, I need his lips, uh, his ruby lips. And then I need to give him a five o'clock shadow, which is most pronounced in the reference shot. Because he played a lot of CD down and out mad characters, a lot of villains, um, but apparently he was a really, really nice guy, which I could get the impression he was. I think that's why I instinctively liked him from a, from when I was a kid. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Right, I'll give, put a bit of blue on the badge. Hang on, move it, see what I'm doing here. Just a bit of blue on the badge. Now, of course, after you've done all of this, uh, this doesn't have to be the end result. You can then uh, photograph it and put a, a filter on it. There's lots of filters available on your iPhone or your iPad or whatever, um, which can really enhance the drawing. Um, and I'll do that at the end just to, uh, to demonstrate how it can be improved. Uh, yeah, anyway, this isn't too bad, but it's not the best drawing I've done ever in my entire career such as it is um right okay I'm, i think i'm nearly there give me a bit of a red nose and a bit of red cheek and uh, all right i think that will possibly do for now uh oops and then i will just come here i will um yeah then i will uh tweak it a little bit and as i said put photograph it put a filter on it and Bob's your Aunt Fanny. So, um, there you go. And if you're out and about kissing, don't do this. Well, yes, do. Do like that. So what do you think of that, Fluffy? Rubbish. Thank you very much. And I hope that was useful. Thank you. I hope I'm staring at the right bit. And I'll try it again tomorrow. But let me know if that was any good at all or if it was just complete rubbish. <laughs>